Kennedy is the president of the German Marshall Fund of the United States, or GMF, which is a highly regarded nonpartisan public policy organization that is focused on issues of international cooperation and understanding, with a focus on North American European relations. Now, the GMF have offices uh, throughout the world, not only Washington, but Ankara, Turkey, Belgrade, Serbia, Berlin, Germany, Bratislava, Slovakia, Brussels, Belgium, and uh, Romania, Paris, France. I don't know how you're managing all those offices, Craig, but we're absolutely delighted that you're here in Halifax, and we'll hear from Craig in a moment about his organization. This morning, I'm very pleased to announce that the German Marshall Fund, in partnership with ACOA, will be holding the inaugural Halifax International Security Forum right here in Halifax from November 20th to November 22nd. This will mark the first occasion that the GMF have held a public event in Canada. Cette conférence va se tenir se mettre à Halifax avant d'être le 20, 21 et 22 novembre, alors que des dirigeants, des dédicateurs et des spécialistes universitaires des deux côtés de l'Atlantique et y réuniront pour discuter de l'incidence d'une modèle de, de monde et évolution sur la sécurité transatlantique. This uh, prestigious conference will put the spotlight on Halifax for three days as foreign leaders, policymakers, and academics, <coughs> experts from both sides of the Atlantic will gather here to discuss the impact of the changing world on transatlantic security. This conference will focus international attention on Halifax yet again partly because of the issues being discussed and the public events, and partly because of the profile of the individuals who will be in attendance for the conference. Defense ministers from Belgium, New Zealand, Netherlands, Montenegro, and military leaders, the Supreme Allied Commander, the Commander of the United States Navy, Europe, and Africa, and commitments from Senator John McCain and Mark Udall of the United States Armed Services Committee, as well as former National Security Advisors, Zygnu, Berinsky, as well as Stephen Hadley will be in attendance, and others who Craig can speak to in a moment. As the Federal Minister responsible for Nova Scotia and a proud Nova Scotian, I'm delighted that yet another international event of this stature is coming to Halifax. The tenue de ce forum ici au Halifax se jour a succès remporté par d'autres événements au haut niveau organisme dans la région, notamment le sommet sur le microcrédit et l'Assemblée Générale Annuelle de la Banque de Développement des Caraïbes. Holding this forum in Halifax yet again builds on the success of a number of previous high-profile events that we've hosted here before, including the Microcredit Summit and the Caribbean Development Bank's annual general meeting. The Microcredit Summit, as many of you will recall, brought Nobel Peace Prize winner Mohamed Yunus to town, along with several other national leaders in 2007. As well, the Caribbean Development Bank's annual general meeting brought heads of state from several Caribbean nations here in 2008. Both events were spectacular successes, and both conferences, uh, the goals and the delegates' and expectations were succeeded. I would note as well that we had the defense ministers representing the regional command south for the mission in Afghanistan in Cornwallis last year, yet another high-profile event that uh, showcased all that we have to offer here in Nova Scotia. And from a policy perspective, I'm sure that the implications of transatlantic security here in Canada are lost on no one. As a port city and a key focal point for the Atlantic Gateway and Trade Corridor, security is an enormously important for, uh, forum, an enormously important factor uh, for this city. And the lines between global and regional issues are becoming blurred in the 21st century. And our transatlantic community faces an increasingly complex web of security issues. These issues require a strong, informed response. And that is why the Halifax International Security Forum is an ideal time and here in an ideal place. The forum will focus on a set of core issues central to our transatlantic relationship with the United States and the European community, including the rule of law in the 21st century, energy security, the impact of the economic crisis on global security, and the proliferation of nuclear weapons, and the transatlantic role international defense efforts, including maritime security. And what we have here is a great opportunity to view these issues through an Atlantic Canadian and, of course, a national security lens. This will showcase our efforts, our wonderful province and capital, and the spectacular deep water port that we have here in Halifax. The Conference des Dents Pont 
uniquement une occasion de présenter les enjeux et les préoccupations du Canada sur la scène internationale, mais aussi de montrer la région au reste du monde. So this conference is not only an opportunity to put Canadian issues and concerns front and center at the highest international level, but will also provide us with a venue to showcase our region to the world. And I think that ACOA and GMF officials in particular uh, deserve our thanks for the hard work that they have uh, put into this uh, effort so far in bringing the conference together. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, 